All right, should recess be, be the law, be mandatory? In the Garden State of New Jersey, they're looking at doing just that, a bill aimed at making elementary school kids, at least in the state, have recess. Chris Christie, the governor there, telling me not too long ago, well, I thought it was a stupid idea. You pocket veto, which means you essentially never took it up. A bill that would have made recess mandatory in New Jersey elementary school. My kids want to know why you did that. Because I think their teachers should be able to decide and their administrators should be able to decide whether or not they have recess in any particular day. This is crazy government run amok. What are we doing? With all the other problems we have to deal with, my legislature is worried about recess for kids from kindergarten to fifth grade. You know, part of my job as governor is to veto the stupid bills. That was a okay. stupid bill, and I vetoed it. All right, to Erica Katz, the parenting expert, says that recess should uh, be mandated. Uh, Jennifer Brand is with us, an attorney, a mother too. Recess should not be mandated. Uh, Erica, you're saying it should be why? I think recess is really important. There's been no studies indicating that not having recess leads to better test scores, and that's one of the, the arguments that they have about not having recess. But, you know, if you look at the American Academy of Pediatrics, they actually recommend recess for kids. It leads to better memory, better concentration, and, frankly, an extra five minutes in classroom versus burning off all that energy, I think we really need to have it. Jennifer, I guess Governor Christie's point was then let the local school, local teachers involved decide, not the state. You say what? That's what that's right, and that's what I agree with. There's no point in mandating recess. And teachers are under so much pressure now with the standardized testing that they are forced to comply with that they really need to get that information across to the children. So maybe the real problem is the standardized testing. Maybe that's where you start to reduce the pressure that school districts have with regard to that. And then they'll have more time so that the kids can enjoy recess. I'm not denying that kids need a break. They do need a break at school time. But to have the legislature mandate a certain amount of time, that should be up to the school district to decide and the parents that are involved there to decide, not well, the, not the I legislature. I think you have to mandate it, though, because these kids are not getting enough recess. They're cutting recess in all these different schools. And the reason behind mandating well, it is so that, that it happens. Where do you take that from, Erica? Right. I mean, if you do you, that, where is it coming from? You could take it the last five minutes of a class. I think what they're really saying five is Five minutes for recess? No, you, yeah, you but can that's add not five enough time, Erica. Class. I, I got you. That's okay. not enough you know, you time. That's not up. enough time. And Jennifer, with all the pressure that the teachers understood, have understood. in getting, getting the uh, information across the kids, I think it's too much problem. I just didn't want you to take it from my lunch. If it was five minutes less time for lunch, that could be a problem. You know, um, I'm okay with that. And I looking at 40 minutes. They're looking at like 40-minute oh, recess you. time, not five well, minutes. Well, bottom line, Jennifer, you come. I know, I understand. Jennifer, you come back with the idea, don't legislate this. There are ways we can deal with this without legislating it, right? That's right, and it's not something that has to happen every single day. Maybe there are days when it's bad weather or whatever that it's a better chance to you, the you, kids every in. single day. You think it could go too far? Is that right? I think it's gone way too far when the legislature is involved, and I agree with Christy that the legislature has a lot more important issues to deal with rather than whether schools should have recess or not, and for how long they I should have. I think our they children do. are a really important issue, and to call this issue stupid is really well, not, I'm not downplaying the importance way. of children. It's but not about the importance children. of children. This it's whether or not you're, you're legislating every single issue that they have to do. What's it going to be next? That they have to buy a school lunch or what they have to do during the day? I mean, that's not up for the legislature. That's well, why have we have school administrators and superintendents. The schools just no, that's aren't not true. Providing many of them it. do. Most oh, of them do. And then many are cutting. There has to be okay. some Ladies, even playing field here. You argue your points eloquently, especially when you talk over one another. Uh, by the way, you'll be denied <laughs> recess because you did that. Uh, but I, I do want to thank you both very, very much. It is a, a, a big issue in not only New Jersey, but elsewhere where they're just trying to keep our kids sane. But are they pushing it too much? Who knows?